Greetings friends. Today we are going to learn about get or create function in Django. It's a fairly simple function but it is a good practice to use it to avoid redundant fields in our database. Now let's have a look. Like when we open the Visual Studio code, we can see the, or the model of order. It's a simple class that has the following fields, customer name, item, price, and in the, in, in the index.html template, we have two elements. The first one is this form, which is used to save data into the database. Whereas next is a for loop iterating through the entries that we have made so far. In the views.py file, I have this simple order.objects.all to get all the orders that has been made so far and this save statement so that I can use this form to save the item. In the save I have used this objects.get or create. What this thing act what this thing do is that it goes through the database and looks for an entry that is similar to the condition that we are providing here. After that, what it will do is it will either return the object or create a new one. If the object is found, we can make the changes accordingly and then save it. Now let's check. Now let's see if this function is running properly. As we can see, the entry so far is one for Apurv and headphones for 1500 and then an entry for XYZ for a laptop of 50,000. Now let's make another entry uh, for let's say a microphone and its price is let's say 4000. As we can see that the entry has been successfully made for the microphone. Now let's check it once more. I'll be changing this approve and instead of headphones, let's say I'll order something like a guitar. And let's say its price is about 7000. As we can see that the entry was successfully made and the changes were also made. And we didn't even have to make any extra function to check if the entry has already been made. With that, I'll end today's lecture. Thank you.